Hello fashionistas! In this video, I will walk you through using WGSN. WGSN is an amazing forecasting tool that has been created for our industry in order for us to understand what is to come in trends. This is a very important tool if you have a business or you are a buyer or you are anything in the industry and you need to understand what the customer wants. This delves deep into society and to culture, things that are happening within our industry, and they develop reports that help businesses create their assortments and buy products that are actually useful and the customer wants. So in order for us to log in, we have to go on WGSN.com. When we arrive at the home page, this is what we are going to see. So the first thing that we want to do is look at that top right corner. We're looking for a tab or a button that says log in. It is white and it is right here at the top right corner. When we go ahead and select this login button, we will be brought to this page. Remember, in order for you to log into WGSN, you will be using your student email, your student email from MDC or whatever college or university you attend. Now, in order for us to log in, we also have to set up a password. So once we go ahead and do this, we can go ahead and log into our WGSN account. Now in WGSN, there are very different tools that we can use in order for us to build our brand or build our store or even create um, projects that we are asked to do by our professors in fashion school. Now, the reason why is because they build reports, trend reports for forecasting seasons for two or even three years ahead. This gives us a look into the future and what is to come in fashion. Now, of course, they use things that are happening at the moment in order for them to predict what will be trending in the future. Now, at the top, we find several tabs. Here they are. These are the different categories that they have. They have women, they have men, youth, kids, all markets, and even a fashion feed. Now, under women, under men, youth, kids, and all markets, we're going to find different tools that we can use. The first is called future strategies. Now, under future strategies, these are reports for particular seasons that we are looking for in particular years. For example, if we were to look for spring, summer, 21, SS, 21, spring, summer, we can go ahead and select this and we're going to find different reports for spring, summer, 21. In this case, I have some filters for women, spring, summer, 21. I'm going to go ahead and deselect women because I want to see everything that is happening in future strategies in terms of spring, summer, 21. As I can see, I can go ahead and see different titles that automatically pop, right? Or come into view as soon as I select this. Now, the first would be visual merchandising trends. These are very important at the moment, right? Visual merchandising, particularly after COVID-19, is going to be so crucial to keep stores, to keep brick and mortar stores alive, to keep customers still going to malls that at the moment have become empty because of COVID-19, right? Customers are now fearing being together in packed locations inside indoor areas. However, visual merchandising will go be that thing that changes the world for brick and mortar stores. It will bring customers to pass by your window and ultimately make a purchase. Of course, when we're talking about spring and summer, we can see that we have swim and style trend concepts, right? What would summer be if it wasn't for um, swimwear? It's such an important factor of summer. So important that in this case, even without reading it, with the background that the model has, and even the kind of material from the top of the bathing suit, I already know that we're going for a more natural kind of ecological, um, sustainable um, trend. This is very important. And once we read it, right, we're talking about natural themes. So the trends revolve around a particular theme. So let's say that we wanted to go ahead and go back to women, and now we're looking for a particular category, right? Let's say we want to know more about footwear. So we want to look for trend reports in terms about women's footwear where here we have different things that we can look at. Here are different reports. We can see it for autumn, winter, 
Here are some key fashion items and footwear, right? Also for spring, summer. So we definitely see that all of these forecasting reports give us an insight in what's to come. Now, of course, we're going to see different things in these reports like COVID-19 or post-COVID-19 that are automatically going to cause a stir in us, right? We're going to know that these particular events were very important in the fashion industry. That's because society, culture, it affects the way that we see fashion and ultimately the way the consumer is making purchases, right? In a post-COVID-19 world, it says we want to shift towards mindful shopping and local tourism. So again, we're trying to basically reduce and kind of save. The consumer is saving, right? If the, um, if the unemployment rate is high, consumers become scared, they stop shopping, so now they're mindfully shopping. So this report is an excellent example of how WGSN takes what is happening in society and creates reports for buyers, for store owners, for people who are in our industry, allowing us to delve deeper. Now, another thing that we can go ahead and do is that we can also do some research, right? We can research some of the catwalk galleries. So if we go ahead and select catwalk gallery, we will see a catwalk analysis. So we can actually see different collections. In this particular case, we're looking for Paris, pre-summer 21 for Chanel, and we can look through all of the images. Now, something fantastic about this is that we can also download these images for projects. So if you were to select this little arrow, we can download and use this image in our project. We can alter it, do whatever we'd like in order to make it our image for our project. Now, something so important with WGSN and with any website that you find as a student is you can only use it as a student. These images belong to WGSN. They do not belong to us. They do not belong to the school. They do not belong to you. So we do not post any material from WGSN on social media. We, don't, we do not use it for any other purposes than for the school intent. However, you do have all of these great tools. Now to bring us back to that main page, we can just click on that WGSN logo right here on the left and it will bring us back to the main page. Again, we could do this with men. We could do this with kids, right? We could do this with youth. So we have different categories which we could delve deeper into these reports. I truly recommend using these tools and using WGSN in your projects because when you're explaining your projects, you're gonna have to give information on how you came up with these ideas. So these reports help you to arrive to that information and give a more focused report on how your brand is developing or how your project is developing in school. So very important that we're using these tools. If you have any questions, I am more than happy to walk you through them and help you more with WGSN. It is a great tool and I highly recommend using it.